Good morning and thank you for uh, taking time from your busy schedules to attend the Orange Catholic Foundation's annual breakfast conference and for supporting Catholic school education. Special thanks to Bishop Van, Cardinal Dolan, and the Orange Catholic Foundation. Obviously, um, kind words from Matt Munson and Keith Buckley. Thank you very much for that video. Um, extending congratulations to Tim Stratter and Coach Bruce Rawlinson. I can't mention the school he works at, but <laughs> I think you folks will understand. I feel extremely fortunate, not only for this morning's recognition, but for the many opportunities that have been made available to me and for the constant support from my lifelong Catholic friends and my family. So I'm going to take a minute and I'm going to introduce my family as, as you've seen on the video. My wife, Jennifer, as Keith said, it will be 40 years in August. My son, Keith, and his wife, Jessica. Listen, it's a Catholic family. Let's hold the applause until the end. <laughs> my, my daughter, Megan, and her husband, Ian. My daughter, Lindsay, and her husband, Scott. And our youngest, Shelby. Um, <laughs> as most of you watch a little bit of television, you've heard of ESPN and spoiler alert. This is a spoiler alert. You need to put your cell phones down because I'm gonna introduce the grandkids and there could be flying scrambled eggs coming across the table, so <laughs> I've warned you. Um, and two of them are at school. So Brooklyn is, is um, our oldest, then Reese, and then Avalon, and then Blake, and then Madden, and then Sloan, and then we have number seven on the way. But when people talk about God's gift, that's a perfect example of God's gifts. So thank you. <laughs> I was asked to share a quick story about our Catholic education and how it influences our daily lives. So um, three, three minutes of, of your time and we will be done. I was raised in Fullerton, California, attended St. Philip's grade school and Servite High School, grew up in a traditional Catholic family with five siblings. My wife Jennifer also attended St. Philip's, so there, there's a key, I knew her in the first grade. She attended Cornelia Conley High School and has eight siblings in her families. We may not have known it at the time, but those 12 years of Catholic education were able to provide a foundation of being Christ-centered in all of our activities. So if you fast forward, after being married for a few years with two young children, we decided to start our own company in 1986. Vintage Design is a full-service design center integrating products and services to home builders and their new communities throughout California. As the company grew, we kept a close eye on the type of environment that we were creating. We did the traditional things that companies do, a family picnic, baseball night at Angel Stadium, and of course, the annual Christmas party. But unfortunately, even with the proper intentions and the interactions, the resulting conversations from those events left a lot to be desired. So 18 years ago, we decided to make a change, one that would more closely represent who we were striving to be. Our company Christmas party became a mass, a Christmas celebration at our corporate facilities in Lake Forest. The message begins perfectly as each of our associates are in attendance along with family members and business associates. Now here's the wonderful part. Father Michael Ponarelli, classmate of mine from Servite and the pastor at St. Juliana's presides over the celebration. St. Monica's Church, whom is a customer of ours, provides their choir for mass and music and readings. A delicious breakfast is served, raffle prizes and company apparel are distributed, and each associate is recognized individually in front of the entire company for his or her contributions to the organization. That doesn't happen at a Christmas party in a ballroom at 11.30 at night. Just doesn't happen. So one might say, what's the correlation to your Catholic education and your company celebration? Well, first and foremost, if it hadn't been for 12 years of Catholic education, I never would have had the opportunity to meet and marry the greatest woman in the world. So, mother and father, money well spent. <laughs> that Catholic connection allowed for a classmate of mine, Father Mike, and a customer of ours, St. Monica's, to send the correct message during the holidays. Now, you might say, big deal, he has a Christmas mass, but it's much more than that. 
Our Catholic education helped to lead us to find a better way to display who we are and how we intend to conduct our lives. That one day, that Christmas celebration reminds all of us for the remainder of the year how joyful life can be when you live in a Christ-like manner. So in closing, it's this one man's opinion that society has lost its way. And there's a simple solution, and it's twofold. One is faith. You must have faith. And two, you need an education. And if you make it a Catholic education, you will hit a home run. Good morning. Thank you very much, and God bless.